Thanks, AJ. This actually follows on a bit from Suzanne's question earlier. Um, I've just come back from a couple of weeks away with my kids and I awesome. have <laughs> oh, yeah, huge amounts of triggers. And what I found, though, was that I, um, I wouldn't allow myself to process the emotions fully. In fact, hardly at all, unless I was completely on my own. Right. And what I, what I found was that there were a few people that we stayed with where the, you know, now I seem to be getting more and more sensitive to people's energy. Yeah. And a few people we stayed with, the energy was really, really dark. Yeah. And I found it really hard to deal with. Yeah. And what, what I'm finding is When you that say dark, what was the feelings you were feeling? Just... Oh, a lot of fear, you know, like it comes back to this living in fear thing. Yep. And um, what, I, what I found was that, you know, it's so easy to, to walk this path when you're surrounded by people on the divine love path yep. who understand and are accepting of you all of a sudden becoming a blubbering mess, yep. you know. Yep. But it's really, really difficult when you're surrounded with people who... And I know I have a huge, a lot of stuff to process around judgment, yeah. both judgment yeah. of others and my own judgment of other people yeah. and their judgment of me. Yeah. But my question would be, you know, like, how, how do you progress through that? I mean, it's very tempting just to shut everybody out and just stick with the divine love community. But that's not really helpful either to myself or to other people, is it? Yeah, well, I suppose when you're in the real world, shall we call it, um, or the unreal world, perhaps I'd like to call it, when you're in the unreal world, the world of mankind, the beauty of being in that place uh, is that any emotions you have unhealed inside of yourself will be exposed through your law of attraction. So, um, so it gets quite intense at times here, here on the earth as a result of the whole world of mankind being in an unhealed emotional place and then, of course, when you're living in that world, you can easily be, um, you know, tri triggered by them emotionally. All of your unhealed emotions, in other words, are going to get exposed. Now, I think that's a wonderful thing myself, uh, rather than a bad thing. Um, so the problem with living in a divine love community 100% of the time is that uh, unless everyone in that community is completely and frankly open and honest with each other and also um, which, which obviously no matter what their condition is achievable but it's very difficult depending on their condition and um, what can happen is things can change quite rapidly in a divine love community as well like so that that can be done but there are times when everyone around you is actually more loving than what your law of attraction is indicating you need to have triggered for example um, many of you still have quite a lot of fear of being attacked personally. Is that not the case? Like fear of personal attack. Uh, whether that be physical in nature, or like in other words, physical pain as a result of it, or just verbal abuse, like people abusing you verbally. Now, um, if you lived in a community of, with other people on the divine love path, it's very rare that such an event would ever occur to trigger that emotion. In other words, you'd feel quite safe and secure. After a while, sometimes we can feel that we're in a place that we're not really in as a result of that because everyone around us is treating us a certain way. But now when we put ourselves in the world um, and we live you know, for two weeks, if you like, in our law of attraction, now that will come up daily often. And uh, my suggestion is to go along with it and, and allow yourself to make the step into feeling your emotions while it's happening. And it's a great thing if you can learn to do that. If you can learn to feel your emotions while they're happening, doesn't matter who you're in front of or what's going on, if you can do that, what happens is there's this switch that happens inside of yourself where you're, uh, you're loving yourself more and you're allowed to be yourself at every moment. And because of that, it, you no longer feel the need for to, to be in a sort of a, an environment that's all protected like a little cocoon for you to exist in. Well, I found that what I was doing was I, was, I think I was feeling and I was aware of some of the emotions that were coming up, but I wasn't allowing myself to process the emotions, uh, except for those times when my law of attraction insisted yeah. that I do that. So have but a look at your fear of other people's belief about your emotions. 
because this began at a very young age and it's one of our emotions we do need to release. One of our fears, one of our blocking emotions we need to release is, is if I cry in front of others, they will judge me. And most likely, by the way, they will. Right? And the key is we've got to get to a stage where we honour ourselves so much that that doesn't matter. Do you, do you know what I mean? Where we honour ourselves so much that we're allowed to cry if other people are around. You know? 